Hey, what's up, y'all? And uh, welcome to another Alternative Factuals video. And uh, if you're new to the channel and all that, uh, just be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe and leave your comments down below with your opinions and theories. That's kind of why I've been making this channel. And obviously, the videos have been picking up in terms of comments, so I appreciate that. But without further ado, let's kind of jump into today's video. So um, with the the whole rise of the Avengers Endgame, the movie's going to be out in about a month. And then people are feeling about it, especially when they release the images of the Avengers and those who we know are confirmed alive and those who are confirmed dead. Um, a lot of people have just been overall just excited about the movie, my, myself personally as well. But um, a lot of us have these questions where we're trying to figure out what exactly is going to happen after Phase 4. And uh, what can we expect going forward when it comes to these Avengers movies and all these Marvel's movies and MCU and all that good stuff. Now, I'm not going to jump into the whole fact that some people's contracts might be up or anything like that because I felt like that's kind of been talked about so much. It's kind of dead, at least in my opinion. But we're going to talk about a little bit what's going to happen after Avengers 4 and what movies are supposed to do what. And obviously, I don't have all the information regarding that. But however, we're still going to kind of dive into it. And we're going to talk about some of the interviews as well that they said that is going to happen going forward after Phase 4. So it's no surprise that the final movie of Phase 3 is the Avengers Endgame movie, which is coming, I believe, April 25th in the UK and April 26th in the US. But obviously, you already know that they have those releases and all that stuff the night before, whatever you want to call it. But um, Endgame completes a story that began Infinity War like over 10 years ago or just about 10 years ago into Phase 4. And then the first movie that's supposedly supposed to take, um, take place in Phase 4, I believe, is Spider-Man Far Away From Home on July 5th, 2019. And according to some of the interviews, uh, the, the directors and even was it Amy Pascal, who's uh, kind of working with this whole Phase 4 of movies, um, literally the movie of Spider-Man Far From Home will literally start a few minutes after Avengers 4 wraps up. So basically after the finger snap, after they, I guess, fix everything, this is going to dive straight into it. And we're going to kind of see what's going to happen going forward. And uh, in my personal opinion, as well as some other people who've kind of seen the things that uh, we've seen in the Marvel movies, we're going to kind of expect the new Avengers kind of aspect or the MCU's version of the new Avengers. But besides the uh, Spider-Man movie, I believe, I think there's also going to be a Black Widow solo movie that we I feel like we should have gotten before. But um, this is already confirmed by Kevin Feige. And also we're going to get a Doctor Strange 2 as well as the Black Panther 2 because it did so well, uh, especially with uh, Ryan Coogler as uh, the director for the whole thing of Wakanda. But um, also one of the things that they said was that during the whole MCU or the you know previous phases of 1 through 3, New York was kind of the center place of all these events where a lot of these things took place or was the home front to a lot of these uh, massive events. And uh, they're probably going to start using Wakanda a little bit more often since they introduced that place as a safe haven for superheroes and kind of Wakanda opening its borders. They're probably going to start using that a lot more frequently as a means to kind of launch things off in terms of special events or even just simply movies or having crossovers with other movies and using that as kind of like the focal point to do it. Now, in terms of galaxy or space based kind of uh, well, the space based movie, pretty much or like a sci fi, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we already know we have Guardians of the Galaxy 3 with James. Gun. Obviously, he came back to work on the Marvel movies after he was suddenly fired or released uh, due to those whole tweets and everything, but he was reinstated, I believe, March 15th. But he's going to be currently working on Suicide Squad, so we're not going to really see Guardians 3 until maybe about like 2021, maybe 22, but uh, yeah, that's really up to them to kind of figure out, but let's kind of get into the differences of what Phase 4 is going to kind of get into. So me personally, like I said, as much as I enjoyed the Marvel movies and all the superhero movies and, you know, even the DC movies, I feel like a lot of them are relatively the same genre, where a lot of them, I think, fall into the same category of action, adventure, science fiction, and fantasy kind of thing, but I think they're going to probably introduce um, more genres like horror or even probably more like drama related things, because uh, some characters Characters are not just outwardly adventurous or as big as Infinity War or even Endgame is about to be, but um, I think they're going to introduce um, horror, for example, specifically. I believe it was Kevin Feige who said that in an interview where he's actually going to start to introduce things like horror. I guess it would apply more to specific characters. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, if they were to hypothetically introduce Brother Voodoo into, like, the MCU or anything like that, um, it would kind of take more of a horror approach or something similar to that, the same way how in Teen Titans they um, use race Raven's power to kind of be depicted in a more horror kind of kind of way. 
and for her character it definitely works and i feel like for brother voodoo in the way that somehow his powers are kind of depicted in the comic books it would work pretty well also and also you can kind of use this as well with uh, dr strange and some of the mystical beings that are out there like nightmare even the dimension the dark dimension of dormammu um, dormammu i don't know why i sounded like that but um yeah you have different aspects of things like that that you can introduce different genres into the superhero um aspect of the mcu going into phase four so you can expect to see a genre change for sure also uh, i guess uh with anthony russo's kind of teasing the radical changes for thor for example we already know that odin's dead uh most of asgard is pretty much defeated remember asgard is down to a fourth um about half of the asgardian um people were actually already down due to that whole thor ragnarok hella and then with the finger snap no no not even with the finger snap um there were already people who were dead from that. Then after the fact, um, Thanos killed half of them when he physically ran into them. And then after the finger snap, they got snapped in half again. So they're about like a fourth of what they were before, maybe even less. So that's something also we can see going forward where like whoever survived the finger snap or whoever's going to get brought back, um, Thor is going to officially kind of be in Odin's place where he's still going to be in charge of these people. And Stormbreaker, I guess, is his way or his weapon of kind of being the Odin force, or they still can introduce that into the Thor and kind of instead of him being so comedic I mean he can still be comedic don't get me wrong but instead of him just being solely comedic they can introduce different aspects of his personality of him being a leader of showing that he has matured so much since his initial introduction way back when in like 2000 what 9 or 10 or something like that so that's definitely something we can look out for going into phase 4 but what I'm really interested in is them expanding the mythos of Thor like maybe bringing in like Beta Ray Bill or like Gore the God Butcher or just things like that in regards to Thor himself but we can definitely expect an expansion of his mythos and they're going to tie a lot more stuff into what we're going to see going forward and uh that's going to be pretty fun actually because there's a lot of content for thor if done correctly especially because it's the mcu and this is disney and then obviously they have the resources it's going to be a phenomenal movie or set of movies having to do with thor that can kind of stand alone that doesn't really feed into a massive event but going back to my earlier point i did mention that uh like i said with the introduction of like you know black panther or spider-man and even captain marvel um it's clear that the mcu is trying to kind of focus around like you know non-white heroes female heroes and even just in general trying to introduce the minority into the mcu so we can expect going forward that they're going to introduce some aspect of the new avengers and that's going to be something we can really look forward to simply because that could not like possibly give us a chance to see a Mal uh, miles morales or even we can get a uh, captain marvel the, the girl who wanted to serve as captain marvel sidekick miss marvel aka kamala khan and she was pakistani and uh, she was from, actually from new jersey but also maybe we can see the nova Corps, you know little things like that so the whole point is like you know there's a possibility of all this stuff coming into the next phase because of the things that they've introduced within the first one to three phases of the mcu already but there's a lot of things out there that we can kind of look forward to and kind of expect but definitely the genre and the type of movies we're going to see is going to change so let me know down in the comments down below what you think uh, give me your theories or what you're excited to see or what you would like to see in the mcu going to phase four or five whatever and if you're new to the channel leave a comment down below and uh uh, you know make sure you like the video you know share the video let your friends know let them jump in on this discussion and i hope to see you later on peace out